What's going on, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked singles battles for Pokemon Sword. As always, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button for me, clicking that big red subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. So, guys, the team that we are rocking today is actually a Hydreigon, kind of like Corviknight. The Corviknight actually runs hard in this team, so hopefully we get to show that off to you and how good this Corviknight can be. But this team consists of a Choice Scarf Hydreigon, which is lurking behind my webcam right here. It's rocking Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, and Flash Cannon. It's very strong. can be used in good situations. We got an Expert Belt, Arcanine with Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Play Rock for those Dragons. Such a strong move right there and extreme speed if I want to attack first. But what the Expert Belt actually allows our Arcanine to do is when it gets a super effective hit, the damage is boosted for it. So that's why it has such like a wide variety of moves on it. So we can get more super effective off. Then we got this Citrus Berry Corv Knight right here. Oh my god, dude. I am in love with this Pokemon right here. It is an absolute unit. You guys have no idea. We can set up the Iron Defense. Go plus two in defense. We can always Roost to get back and help. We have health. We can, we also have a Taunt, which you can actually lurk Pokemon to come after him. Wow, his defense is buff. He's so good. So strong. And hopefully we can show off big battles with him. Then we got our Assault Vest Dragapult with Clear Smog in case we want to tear off all stats and all that. We got Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Scald Rocking with that. We got a Pixel or Pixie Plate Sylveon right here, which is so good. Sylveon is very underrated. It is so good. Like, you guys have no idea. Then we're rocking our Focus Sash Estadrill with Swords Dance so we can set up maybe... Even go into a Dynamax, drop a Max Rock Ball, set up the Sandstream, and all that good stuff. So, guys, if you guys do like how this team looks, want to try it out for yourself and all that good stuff, team code is at the bottom of the screen right here. I'm also going to be leaving a link to the maker of this team. Like I say, usually I don't really make these teams. I just get them, but I'll leave a link to the creator. But without further ado, let's get on with this video. Hopping into battle number one right here. This guy's rocking a Dragapult, Exegel, T-Tar, Ferrothorn. Wow, and Token Kiss, and a Conkledor. Woo! Dang, dude, this team is looking good, but we're definitely going to bring in our Swords Dance Excadrill. He can do some work. He can do some work, so Excadrill is coming out with us. And then who, are, who else are we going to roll out with? Do we lead with the Arcanine? I say we lead with the Arcanine, and then do we bring the Corvo? What is the plan? What is the plan? I think Corvonite could be the call here. We go Arcanine. We can lead with the Arcanine, so depending on what he goes with, we can actually do some work. So we're going to lead with the Arcanine. Yeah, Arcanine's going to come out here. Or do we lead with the Corvo? The calls, the calls, the calls. Hmm. Or we can leave with the extra drill. This is tough. This is a tough call, but the extra drill does do work against it a lot. I don't really want to show it. He is Sand Rush, so if he wants to set up with that T-Tar in the beginning, yeah, we're going to rock out with the extra drill right off the bat. Extra drill is going in. We're going to bring the Corviknight in the back end, and the Arcanine is going to come in with us. What a team right here. Let's get rolling out here. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, because we actually eat up, uh, eat up a lot. We have the Arcanine that can take out that Ferrothorn, the Dragapult. I think that Conkledor, too. Right? Right? That Arcanine can do some work. And then we have the Sand Rush Extra Drill that can actually poke off on that T-Tar. That and his Extra Drill. Like, jeez, and his Togekiss. Like, oh! Oh, Lord, guys. We... We're looking pretty here, but yeah, if you guys do want to see more content from me, more ranked battles, make sure you go in the link in the description below to my Twitch page, Genius25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button. I stream four plus days every single week. Let's get it. But guys, thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on these videos. If you guys do enjoy, as always, smash that like button and click that subscribe button because it shows me that you guys are liking these videos and I will post more. But we're going to lead with our extra drill. Mm. Is this thing rocking a fire move? Is this thing rocking a fire move? Ah, if it is rocking a fire move, that could be tough. Do we go for the Swords Dance? No, we do not go for the Swords Dance. Ah, this is tough. This is tough here. If it goes for a fire move, we're just going to roll out into our Arcanine right here. Arcanine can eat it up, and then we can go into a Play Rough. Which is nice. A little bit of Play Rough action. Show me the fire move. Show me the fire move. We're going to intimidate him. Drop his attack for the shot, too. Which is going to be wonderful. What's he going to go with? The Reflect pops off. Wow! Wow! Reflect does come out here. Okay, so now we're going to go right into the play rough. Give me no reason not to go into the play rough. Let's go. I don't think he's expecting this. I don't think he's expecting this at all. I don't think he'll Dynamax because he's not expecting a lot here. But if it comes down to what's it called, we're, we're not going to outspeed it. But if we can soak up a hit or two, we'll be fine. I can see him possibly hard swapping out. I can see that happening. Let's see what this guy does. I just don't see him Dynamaxing, especially against an Arcanine. Like, no way. No way. Come on. Show me what you're doing. He's going to withdraw. Okay, like I said, I saw him withdrawing here. We're going to go. I don't think he's, he's expecting this move. Oh, you hunk. Oh, junk. Playoff's going to come out here. 
Just tap them up just a little bit. Just a little bit. I might go into... I might push back into this extra drill. I think we're going to push back into this extra drill right here. We are focus ashed. And I think we should outspeed. I think we're going to Dynamax next turn. I think we're going to Dynamax with him next turn. Go for the Max Rock Fall. Start setting up some things. Start setting up. I think he's rocking the Conqueror in the third spot. Let's see what he goes for. He's going to go for the Dynamax. Who? What move are you going to be rocking out here? If it's a water move. Jeez. We could get swamped here. I can see him going for a Max Airstream. We're, gonna, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go for our Dynamax. Do some work on it. Try to go Dynamax to the Dynamax here. Because I think Max Rock Fall could potentially take him out. Let's see. Let's see what this guy's going to rock out with. It. Max Airstream. Max Airstream is going to come out here. We should be able to eat this up nice and gently here. Nice, nice, nice. Stay below that half line. And then we're going to come out here with a Max Rock Fall. And then set up the Sand Brush. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. Dynamax. Max Rock Fall. Coming at you. Set up this Sandstorm. But once we do set up this Sandstorm, I might just go into a Max Seal Spike to raise my defense and all that stuff. But we should be able to eat up the next two hits, be able to take out this Togekiss, and then possibly outspeed whatever he's going to throw at us. I know he has that Dragapult, and what was his third Pokemon? I'm pretty sure he showed it to us. Or did he leave with the Dragapult? No, he led with the Dragapult. We do not know the third Pokemon. I'm thinking it's Conkledor. I'm thinking it's Conkledor. That is exactly what I'm thinking. Let's go. Did we outspeed? No, he outspeeds us. Max Flare, are you serious? This thing's rocking Max Flare. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. Yes, dude. Yes. And then we'll get the next hit. Okay, beautiful. So this thing is done. This Togekiss will be done because we're going to get this hit off and we're going to outspeed next turn. No problem. No problem. Beautiful. Come in, in here, Exodrill. Do some work. No, he's not done. Are you serious? Wow. Wow, dude, that is nuts. That is nuts that this thing is surviving these hits. Like crazy. It is just crazy. But we do have extreme speed. The Buffet's going to come out here. Maybe the Buffet might take it out. Hmm. What are we going for? We're going to guard here. We're going to guard it. Yeah, we're going to guard here, let that Dynamax drop out, and then take it out. That's the plan, because this thing is tanky right now. Real tanky. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Bam, ba -dam, ba -dam, bam, bam. Let's see what this thing does. I can see it maybe... Oh, dude, if it hard swaps, I'd cry. If it hard swaps, I'd cry, man. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. Come on, what are you doing, buddy? Dude, Toe Kiss is so cool. I got to find a team with it. Okay, right, Max Guard's going to pop out here. We are chilling now. We are chilling. Let's go, let's go. What do you got? What do you got? Buffeted by the Sandstorm. Do a little bit more work. He's going to drop out this Dynamax here. And now we can actually finish this thing off. This will be perfect. We're going to actually finish this thing off right here. Then we go for the Max Steel Spike. What's doing more? We can raise our defense stat, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We're going to go straight into the Max Rock Fall, just because it looks cooler. Because the Giant Rock is like, yay! <laughs> Drops out on him and mercs him up. But I can see him hard swapping. That's why I probably should have went for the Max Steel Spike. Oh! Come on! Look how small he looks. Look how puny. No puny boy. <laughs> Yo, let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Come on, this guy's taking too much time. It's annoying me. It's annoying me. <laughs> but Togekiss is such a cool Pokemon. I actually haven't used a team with Togekiss yet. Speaking of teams and all that, let me know what other teams you would like to see in the comment section down below. If you'd like to see other certain Pokemon, just let me know. Any Pokemon or teams you have, let me know. Let's go take them out. Boom, perfect. Just what I wanted. Played that, outsmarted him. Now he's out of a Dynamax, out of a Togekiss, and we're going to get first hit next turn. But depending on what he has, we can do some work. I mean, I am rocking a, what's it called? Rock Slide. So if we do Rock Slide, we can actually do some work with the Rock Slide and get the flinch. Oh, can we EQ this thing? Can we EQ this? Is EQ super effective? Let's check it. Let's check it. No, it's not, but it is effective, so we're just going to go off and want that and get that hit right there, which will be fine. And we are rocking the Arcanine. We'll definitely roll out with the Arcanine. No big deal at all. EQ is going to pop off here. Yay. Do some damage. Just a little bit. This thing is a tank, Ferrothorn. I can see him. He's going for a knockoff. Can we eat that? No. Could you imagine? Why didn't he go for the Leech Seed? Wow. Stump play. He's going to knock off our Focus Ash. I can see him going for another knockoff here, but we're going to go straight into here, and we're going to go right into a Fire Blitz. We're going to go right into a Flare Blitz. I know he's rocking that Dragapult. And I think our Corviknight could eat up that Dragapult. Same thing with the uh, Arcanine. So either way, I think we're sitting pretty right here. This Flare Blitz will actually take it out. Considering we are rocking an Expert Belt too. Which Expert Belt boosts his damage for super effective moves. And we're going to outspeed. So are you going to go into your Dragapult? That's fine by me. Again, that's, that's fine by me. Go ahead. Send out your Dragapult. We'll do some work on it. Let's go. Let's go. What you got, fool? Flare Blitz coming at you. I might hard swap out. I might hard swap out. Do a little bit of damage. We're going to do probably more damage to ourselves. With the, oh, 
Ooh wee! Get that burn on him. Get that burny, baby. Sandstorm is subsiding, which is nice. Uh, I don't think he knows we're rocking this. I don't think he knows we are rocking the what's it called? Oh, the, no, it's because of the reflect. The reflect. I don't think you know we're rocking a plate rough. Are you? Is he gonna go first and go for that reflect? He's gonna go for that reflect. That is fine by me. Two plate roughs should be able to take this bad boy out. No problem, especially we are rocking with this expert belt. Yay! Nice damage, baby! Nice damage. So he has to take us out here, or that will be potential game. This is why rocking that fairy move is amazing with Arcanine and the expert belt. Let's see what he goes for. He's gonna go for a hex! Okay, and so hex. We should be able to eat that up. Show it to me. Yes, baby! And so eat up there. We're gonna go play rough and take out his Dragapult. And now all that's left is that Fire Throne, which we can just go into a Flare Blitz with. Just a bang, bang. We could probably eat up two. We could probably go in with two of them. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I'm thinking this guy's gonna scoop and get out of here. But yo, let's go. That's how you get started. I don't even think we showed off Corviknight in this battle. Did we even use our Corviknight? But just goes to show how strong this thing actually is. Did we go into the Flare Blitz or the... Or do we go into the close combat? Let's go into the flare blitz and then close combat that second hit if needed. Because this, this reflect, he might be able to eat it up. Let's see, let's see. Because close combat will do a little bit more damage. Oh, there we go. Four times effective with the expert belt. And that is the game. That is how it's done. Arcanine running this, baby. Let's go. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this is my favorite team right now. In this game for ranked battles. This team rocks. Battle number two coming at you guys. This guy's rocking Corviknight. Oh, a Bolt and a Cursula. A rigor, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that thing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Rigorerus or something? And he says, Kaparaza and an Elden Gauss. Okay, okay, this team is screaming at me to bring the Arcanine again. Screaming at me, go Arcanine. So we're gonna go Arcanine with this team. I believe that Rigorous is actually Steel Type 2. So Arcanine's coming with us. I think we're gonna roll out with that Gastrodon too. Gastrodon is definitely coming with us, so we're gonna go Gastrodon. Um, Arcanine, and then do we go Corviknight also with this? Corviknight can do some work on that Elden Gauss. Or, or do we go with the Sylveon? We can go with the Hydreigon. Hydreigon can also do some work, but I think now this is mm, this is a tough decision. This is a tough decision because that Bolton could come out here. But we're gonna lead with our Gastrodon, and I yeah, we're gonna go Gastrodon, Arcanine coming out here, and we're gonna have the Corviknight rolling in the back end. No big deal. I was gonna bring my Hydreigon, but dude, Corviknight's always a solid choice. Always a solid choice. I just gotta worry about that Corsola, that Corsola or that Cursola. Could be tough, but I... Do you think he's bringing it? He could be bringing it. Bam, bam, bam. That's why I maybe should have brought my Hydreigon, but I'm banking on him not bringing it. That is what, what's going on here. But let's get into this battle, baby. Who's going to lead? Who's going to lead? The Rigorerus. Is that how you pronounce it? Gashadon's coming out here. I got to see this thing's typing. I really do got to see this thing's typing. I don't know what's it's typing. Let's go. Info. Going to his typing. And his grounding ghost. Okay, so we should be able to just hit it with a nice little Scaldi. Let's go with the Skull. Potential burn chance here. Is he going to withdraw? No, he's not going to withdraw. He's going to give it to us for free. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Show me that burn. It doesn't even matter. No, we didn't. He's going to go for a Trick Room. Give us this all best. He's going to die now. Whoa. Oh, no. Trick Room lets us slower, people. Not... Yeah, I thought he was rolling with the Trick. Um, We're going to roll out into the Ice Beam. Just in case he withdraws. Just in case... No. Skull. Skull's smart play. Always potential burn. Always potential burn, baby! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. What's this guy going to do? He will go first. No, is he going to go first? He, is he slower than the Gastrodon? Wow. Oh, you never see those. Here he goes. Using a Stealth Rock. Setting up rocks and just letting himself die off. The Trick Room probably helps out our Gastrodon. Not going to lie here. I think the Trick Room does help out the Gastrodon. <laughs> because my Gastrodon is so slow that we're probably going to not speed out and everything. <laughs> Unless this guy's trying to rock a very, very slow team. And just go with the Trick Room. I think that's what he's trying to do here. Who is his second Pokemon? Who's his second Pokemon? Goes into this Curse Law. Wow, he is rocking it. He is rocking it. But we're going to pop off into a... We go into an Earth Power? Hmm. No, we're going to we're gonna go into... No, we got to get this burn on him. We're going to just keep going with these Scalds, man. Scalds can do some work on him. Let's go. Come on, Scald. Show me the Scald. Give me the burn. That's all I want right now. That is all I want is that burn. This thing is so sick looking. It is awesome. Oh, he's going to rock out into a Shadow Ball. We'll eat that up. We are Assault Vested, which will actually decrease special attack damage. We do eat that up. We can eat up another one. But what's that drop? Oh, our special defense. He will actually eat us up next shot. Can we get the burn? Show me the burn, baby. Give it up. Nope. No burn for us. We're not going to be able to eat up this next hit. 
Um, do we swap out? It's a choice. Do we swap out? Knowing this thing's going for a Shadow Ball. I don't think we swap out. I really don't think we do go for the swap out. Um, what are we going to do here? We're going to hope maybe this thing misses, but it will take us out if it does land one more Shadow Ball. So we're going to go for the burn. I think this thing could be rocking a uh, Cell Sap or Strength Sap. Which, when it, uh, it just lowers our attack and then gives them health. But there we go. Gastron does fall down here. He does fall down here. Do I rock into the Arcanine or the Corviknight? This thing is a special attacker, so I don't think the Corviknight is going to take it up too, too well. So I think the Arcanine is going to come in here. I think the Arcanine is going to come in here. We are going to go for a... Do we Dyna? Do we Dyna is the real question. I think we do go for a Dyna. Try to start rocking on this thing. But the stones do point into us. That's going to be tough for our Corviknight with the stones. It's going to do a lot of damage. But we do intimidate this thing, which doesn't do much because this thing is a, uh, what's it called? This thing is a physical attacker or a, a special attacker. We're going to go into the max starfall, start a nice little misty train, then go into a max flare, start a drought. Because we got to get this thing out of the way. Like I said, this is going to be our troublesome Pokemon for this battle. So Dynax is going to come out here. If I can get the Corviknight in here with a physical attacker, we can just start roosting and all that good stuff. Roosting, uh, iron defensing, maybe taunting. But taunting usually just comes in in certain situations, like if he's holding, like, one Pokemon. With not very good moves against my Corviknight. But Arcanine's gonna pop out here. We're gonna Dynamax him. Perfect. We should outspeed easily. Oh, no, he's running Trick Room. He's running Trick Room. Oh, my lord, this thing does work. Max Starfall's gonna come out here. Jeez, dude. Jeez. Do some work on him. Do some work. Take him out. Yes! Yes, dude. Big plays here. Big plays. Set up that Misty Terrain. And does that Trick Room go out? That Trick Room's going to be a pain. Can that Trick Room end? Because once that Trick Room ends, our Arcanine's going to go back to Alcibian. Yes, Twisted Dimensions do return to normal. So we get the next shot here. I don't know if we should run a Drought. I got to see what his third Pokemon is. I got to see what his third Pokemon is. Because if he's rocking a Fire Move, we cannot do it. It is a Corviknight. So we're going to go right into a Max Flare. We're going to go right into a Max Flare. And then it's just going to be... What's it called? It's just going to be crazy. It's literally just going to be crazy with a Corvo Corvo battle. It could just go the long run. It could just be like back and forth, roosts and all this, depending on how much damage we do here. Let's see what this Corviknight is going to do. He's not going to outspeed us. He's going to Dynamax, though. 100%. This is going to be crazy, man. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's going to be crazy. He's going to Dynamax. Dude, if we can eat up a shot, that could be huge. That could be huge, but either way... If we don't kill this thing with our Arcanine, this battle is just going to be roost and roost and roost and roost and roost. And whoever can stay in this battle the longest. Like, that is exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be whoever can stay in this battle the longest. But our Max Flare is going to come out here. Can we do some work? Take it out, baby. Take it. Nope. Can we eat up this hit? Is the real question. We have to be able to eat up this hit. This thing's going to go for a Max. What's it called? Actually, this might work out better for us. He's going to go for a Max Knuckle. Take us out here. That's fine. Unless you eat it up, buddy. He eats it up. Yo, dude, my boy eats it up. He's going to raise his attack. And we get another turn. That's game. That's game, baby. Oh, my lord. I can't believe he went for a Max Knuckle. That's game. Let's go. Battle was canceled. GG. Arcanine comes up big again. And we don't show off for Corviknight again. <laughs> That's still nice, dude. Arcanine is running this. Battle number three, this guy is rocking a Dragapult Haxorus, Hippowdon, Polti, guys, a Frost Moth, and a Gardevoir. Okay, so with that scene, I gotta get my Sylveon some loving in this game. So Sylveon's definitely gonna pop out here. Definitely my Corviknight. I think my Corviknight could do some work. So we're gonna go Corviknight, Sylveon, and then who's gonna be rocking that final spot? Ooh, do we go with that Arcanine? Mm. Or do we go with the... Either the Hydreigon or the Gastron, I think is the play call. I think the Hydreigon or Gastron can potentially do some work. But we are definitely going to be leading our Corviknight here. I think Corviknight is going to be the play. Because his attackers are going to be that Dragapult and that Haxorus. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So definitely lead that Corviknight. Bring that Sylveon. And tough choices, guys. Tough choices. And we're going to go Hydreigon. We're going to go Hydreigon with this. Corvo, get that leading front spot. Sylveon, bringing up the rear dude. Sylveon is so nice, like, for this team. I feel like I bring her in, like, every team. Because she just covers so much ground. Like, legit, so much ground. Oh, my God. I love her. I love her. Here we go. Corviknight getting some love in here. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Leading with this Corviknight. Hopefully, he leads with maybe that Hexfriss or that Dragon Ball. If they're not rocking a fire move, we're going to bust out into a Iron Defense. Let's see who he actually goes out into first. He's going to roll out with the Hexorus comes out here. Is it a Mold Breaker? 
It does not say. It does not say. We're going to go into this core bell right here. And I think it is Mold Breaker. Okay. It is a Mold Breaker. And we're going to go into this Iron Defense. We're going to go right into this Iron Defense. Booster Defense by two. And should we outspeed? He's going to go EQ. What are you thinking, buddy? Thanks for the free Iron Defense. Thank you so much. Means a lot. Thanks for coming. Give me no reason not to go into yet another Iron Defense. Goes, goes for an EQ. <laughs> goes for an EQ. Another Iron Defense coming at you guys. We're here plus two Iron Defense. He's going to withdraw. We're going out with another one. So why? This is why. Now, who are you rocking out with here? He's going to go into a pole T, guys, here. And now we're going to Iron Defense up again. I think this thing is special attack. Is this thing just Ghost? I can see it maybe rocking a fire move. You can see it may be rocking a fire move, but I do see us out speeding this thing, so we're... Let me actually check his typing. Let me actually check his typing. Play it a little safer here. Just Ghost, yeah, that's what I thought. We're gonna go straight into a, um... A Brave Bird. Wait, let me... Hold up. Hold the phone. What did this thing say? See how it has an exclamation point on it? What's that mean? That mean I boost it? I think that means I boost it. Okay, so we're plus four on the defensive charge, and we're gonna go right into a Brave Bird here. We're gonna go right into a Brave Bird. I can actually see this thing maybe rolling a fire move. He's gonna go with a Shell Smash, but kind of dumb. I mean, unless it's rocking a white herb. Let's see. Is it rocking a white herb? Because it lowers its defense. We could take it out. Unless it's rocking the white herb. Let's see. It is not rocking the white herb. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Weak armor's going to come out here. Jeez. Well, how are we going to do this? Are we going to go into another Brave Bird? Or is this thing going to take us out? I can see this thing potentially going into a ghost move. Why rock out with my Sylveon? Or maybe a fire move. We're going to keep our Corviknight. We're going to keep our Corviknight alive. This thing is stacked. I see it potentially having that fire move. And so, yeah, we're going to go into the High Dragon right here. I think it's going to throw a fire move at us. And then we're just going to choose Scarf it and smack on it. But, dude, this thing went into the Shell Smash. I thought he was rocking a White Herb because if you're rocking the White Herb, you can plus two your special attack, attack, and speed, but lower your both your defense stats by two, and then your White Herb will just take off that defense uh, lowered. So you're just basically just buffing all your other good ones. We're going to drop Corvo back. Oh, we, dude. This guy gave me double the Iron Defense right off the bat, which was huge. Is this thing going to go into a Fire Move? Do I have the Reeds going? Shadow Ball coming out here. This is uh, super effective. We're done. Boo. Oh, no, we're not done. It is not very effective. Wow, dude, I'm misreading that. But we will outspeed, which is beautiful. On the, but the, What's the play call? What did it roll out with off the bat? It had the Haxorus. We're definitely still just going to go into a Dark Pulse because it is a safe move to, have to actually choice Scarf. It's definitely a really safe move to choice Scarf. I do not see this thing outspeed. It does. Are you like, bruh, we are choice Scarf and you're outspeeding us? What a joke. What a joke, man. Crazy. That is crazy that that thing is outspeeding us. But Sylveon it is. We're going to go roll into a quick attack here. I know it has this Haxorus so we can eat it up. That is crazy that that thing outsped us with our choice scar. Like, bruh. What do you mean? What do you mean? But quick attack is going to come out here first. This always goes first. So this will take out this Pulte, guys. I don't care what you do here. You can withdraw. You can do whatever you want. But we have this thing that can actually eat up the Haxorus too. And he doesn't know we're rocking quick attack. He doesn't know we're rocking quick attack. Let's go. See you later, Pulte, guys. You want to play that Hexers? That's fine by me, dude. Our Corvinite can eat up that Hexers, too. Um, and then who's his third Pokemon? That's the real question. Who is your third Pokemon? He's coming out with the Hexers. We're going right into a Dynamax. We're going right into that Dynamax, baby. Dynamax, Max Strike coming at you. We should potentially want to happen, but I can see this thing being Focus Ash. That is the thing. I can see this thing definitely being so Focus Ash. This thing's going to go into probably a Max Quake. While we go, or no, it's probably my, it's rocking Max Steel Spike. It is rocking Max Steel Spike. It is. Most of them rock Iron Tail with it. The one, the Hexorus is I usually rock have Iron Tail on it. So he's going to go for a Max Steel Spike. We're going to go for a Max uh, Starfall or Max Strike. But it's fairy, so let's get it. Roll out here. Rolling out. But hopefully we can uh, KO this thing. I'm thinking we, do we outspeed? That's going to be who wins this battle here. Whoever outspeeds. I think we're both going to do more than half, but not one hit KO each other. I think that's how it's going to go. Let's see. Let's see. Show me the outspeed. No! Max Steel Spike, right? Like I said. Hunk of junk, baby. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. Yes. We ate that. Um. Then we're going to Max Guard. If I can actually Max Guard twice, that could be the play. 
<laughs> we can actually win it all. We can actually do some work there. But here we go. Here comes our max star ball. Actually, he doesn't have his what's it called? He doesn't have his focus sash anymore. Yes. Why is that? What what took that? He's light form. That's why. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Marked. Marked. That will be the game. That will be 100% the game. I believe. I believe. I believe. But depending on a certain Pokemon, but I don't really think it's anything that I should be too worried about. We have a Corvo. I don't really think you're rocking any fire Pokemon, right? A Corvo is actually setting up. Who is it? Oh, the Gardevoir. Okay. The Gardevoir coming out here. We're going to go right into the... We're going to the Max Flare. Yeah, we're going to go right into a Max Flare. This thing is rocking a fire. I believe this thing It is. Are you kidding me? Let's eat it up. Yeah, we eat that up and we can get a quick attack on it too. But dude, we start, started a drought. That could be tough for our Corviknight. Deal some damage. Started the drought. Um, our Hydreigon is dead. Somehow the Choice Scarf didn't do anything to it. But let's go into the... Oh, we get another Max Flare opportunity. We got the drought. We're going to go into another Max Flare. Dang, dude. I forgot we had two turns left. Mystical Fire going to come out here. We should be able to eat it up again. Oh, yes. On three. And we'll get another Quick Attack on him, which is fine. Which is beautiful. We'll be able to get a Quick Attack. Do a little bit more damage to him. Yes. Yes. And now we will drop from Dynamax. And we're just going to roll out Quick Attack just so we get a teensy bit more damage on this Gardevoir. Let's go. Quick Attack coming at you, boy. That's just this, this thing misses. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All we have to do is survive a mystical fire. And we have a berry. We do have a berry. So we just have to survive a mystical fire. Come on, Corvo. Come on, Corvo. Guys, this is a close one. Can we survive this mystical fire? I'm scared. I am very, 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 very scared here. Oh my god. I don't think we are. I don't think we are. Considering this thing has a drought. Come on, Corvo. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Da, 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 da. Wow! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! How it's done! That's how it's done! Let's go! Hope you guys did like the little bang bang! <laughs> Let's go! Let's get it! Hype, hype, hype! Come on, come on. How about that big clutch W from your boy right here in that last match. But we're hopping into our fourth final match here. This guy's rocking a shuckle. Nice little rock shuckle right here. Palooper. Little Palooper, Pelipper action. He's got the Clefable, Barrascuda, Toxapec, and a Darmanitan. Wow. Could potentially see a rain team roll out. So we're going to bring in our extra drill. Extra drill is going to come in here hot. He's going to lead the front line. That is exactly what he's going to do. He's rocking rock slide. He has that EQ in case that shuckle wants to pop in here have some fun. Um, who else are we gonna rock out with here? Who else is coming in hot? This is a tough one. I think our uh Corvo is gonna come in here too. So Corvinite's gonna pop in here too. So we're gonna have Corvinite, our extra drill, and then who for that clip fable? I think we're gonna go choice scarf Hydragon. I think that's the play. I think that is the plan. Let's roll out with our extra drill in that front spot. Come on, Corvo and Hydreigon rocking the back end. And let's get rolling here. I can see him either leading that Tox Pack or that Shuckle. Doesn't really matter to me. Or if he wants to start off with the Pelipper, with the Chosen, that's fine by me too. I have my uh, extra drill right here. Rock and Rock Slide. And at our EQ, which could eat up a lot. A ton, actually. <laughs> or is he rocking that Darmanitan front spot? Tox Pack does come out. Uh, I think we're going to Dynamax right here. I seriously think we're going to Dynamax here. Or no. You know what? We're going to go for a Swords Dance. We go for a Swords Dance? Yeah, we're going to go for a Swords Dance. We are Focus Sash. I'm hoping this thing goes for a Toxic. He's going to withdraw. That's even better. We'll take a free Swords Dance. And a Pelper's going to come out? Bro, you done, dude. I think we're just going to run it now. I think it's game over. I think that's Night Night. You're trying to set rain, buddy. You're trying to set rain? Stupid. Swords Dance going to pop out here. We're going straight into a Max Rockfall. Switching off that rain. You ain't getting that rain from me. We ain't getting that rain from me. Let's go fight. Dyna. Max Rockfall. I can see him switching into that Barra Scooter, which is fine by me. We will actually outspeed with a Sand Rush. So, woo. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Rocking out strong right off the bat with a Swords Dance. This Pokemon is actually staying in. We will outspeed. And we will probably take out. I think this thing is actually Focus Ash. So, and I believe we will soak up a hit no matter what. So, 
Well, yeah, we will. We will soak up it. We are focus ash also. But we do outspeed. Like I said, Max Rockfall is coming in here. This thing's probably just going for a scald. But no more rain for him, dude. See ya. Oh, he's not focus ash. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Jeans. The best. The best to ever do it. The one and only. Know that, baby. Know that. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Who's he gonna pop out into now? I don't know. I, he's, he's done. He's rocking the Pelipper, probably the Barrascuda, and then who did he just lead with? The Toxapec. That's fine by me. We're gonna roll out into a Max Quake. Dude, I think that's a game. Oh my lord. Max Quake coming at you. Coming at you. I can see him Dynamaxing. He's not Dynamax. We hear Swords Dance running this. Oh my lord. <laughs> Yo, dude, are you serious? Guys. Guys, this is why Extra Joe is my favorite Pokemon. Absolute unit. Absolute unit. We still have our Corviknight Rock in the back end here, too. Jeez, man. Jeez. And the, like I said, the Barrascuda. That's game, set, and match. We're going to go right into the... Which one will be better? They're both the same. We're going to go right into the Max Quick. Max Quick. He's going to die to Max. That's fine by me. We are Focus Sash. We are Focus Sash. And I'm rocking the Corviknight. Like, dude, just run. Just cancel out. Your Barrascuda is not that good without the rain, man. He, Barrascuda is still a top tier Pokemon in this game, dude. One of the best in um, rank battles. For sure, for sure. I actually have to get a team showing him off. Let's go. Max Quake coming out here, dude. Jeez, dude. Sand Rush, me marking. Let's go. Boop. Game. Game, set, match. Perfect sweep. Did not touch us at all. Swept them. Didn't even touch us. Set up that sword. This is what we did. Set up that sword dance. Max Rock Fall. Dead. Max Quake. Dead. Max Quake. Dead. Night night. GG. See you later. Bye. Out of here. Get out of here. Hasta luego. <laughs> there you go, guys. That is how it's done right here. Crush it with this team in rank battles. This is one of my favorite teams in rank battles right now. I played this team and absolutely fell in love with it. I love that Sylveon on the team. I especially love that Corviknight on the team. If you could set up that iron defense and just taunt Roosh back. You can absolutely run team, stall them out, and do a ton of work. You got that Chewy Scarf, Hydreigon, and that Arcanine with that extra belt is absolutely clutch. So good with all those different moves with that play rough to take out some dragon types. You also have that Gaston over there with that Assault Vest who absolutely mercs against special teams. So if they're rocking like a Hydreigon team or something, you can just, oh my god, you can just eat them up with that Ice Beam and all that good stuff. And then last but not least, we got my boy Extra Drill, which I just showed you why he is so strong with that Focus Sash, Sand Rush, and that Sword Dance right there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button for me and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.